So tell me a little bit about you. What's your, where are you from? What's your background? Professionally, by professional okay, background. Okay, so please. I am uh, originally Greek. I was born in Germany. Mm -hmm. uh, I grew up in Athens. I've been working in fashion since I was 14 years old. I was a champion swimmer and I concluded my studies while I was working. Uh, when I was 25, I moved to London after having a very successful career in Greece as a fashion director. And then in London, I worked with Isabella Blow for three years as her personal assistant. And oh. then eventually I branched on my own to do a styling and fashion editor career until 2003 when I returned back to Greece to make more money and to live <laughs> a more comfortable life. <laughs> Uh, going back to Greece, the good thing was that I started experimenting a little bit with photography. I decided that I, I wanted to slowly, slowly st stop doing styling and, and progress more to the fashion design. So in 2010, I launched my menswear brand called Conquistador Menswear. Mm -hmm. On the same time, I wrapped my career as a stylist. Mm -hmm. I opened a creative agency called Menswear Consulting, where I consult uh, and I do branding for various clients and uh, also I took on photography where I predominantly photograph uh, on a commercial level okay. and in 2000 uh, ah, and also I forgot I do also costume design so in 2011 I was offered to do costumes for a contemporary dance mm -hmm. performance and that started kind of a new career path for me simultaneously with my photography my branding, and then on the same year uh, an offer from Polymoda to work as a teacher and a lecturer there where I stayed for three years and then two years ago I moved to Paris to live and work at IFA Paris. Okay. So eventually what I do is creative, uh, omni-channel branding and communication. Okay, all right. So what, would you get, what kind of advice would you give to um, a student like us who's going to work within mm -hmm. a year or something? Else? What's the the traps for uh, in the fashion industry, what's the good past, what's your opinion about it, what, you know, it's very broad, but at the same time, what would you say? Well, the, the thing is this, there's a, there is this notion that fashion is very easy, and it's a lot of hype, and a lot of fun, and a lot of uh, laughs, and that's uh, absolutely not true, it's a very, very hard business, mm -hmm. uh, especially now that we have, uh, I mean, on the one part, it's very good that fashion is so popular, and everybody wants to be part of it, on the second part, you got too many freeloaders and people with not specific talents trying to to gain uh, access and taking sometimes the spots from really talented people that mm -hmm. they might be by nature a little bit more shy or they might need their time to, to flourish. On the contrary of that, obviously compared to when I was starting, today you have endless possibilities to work in fashion in every level you want, you know, mm -hmm. and you can even make a business with no money, something that you can do ground funding, you can find the money, you know. Uh, you can do marketing with no money. You, there are so many opportunities uh, that didn't exist when I was growing up. But what I would say is, as with every profession, you need to be really, really passionate about it. If you don't love it truly and you just do it because of the hype and because it makes you more popular to your friends and your Instagram, better drop it. There is no point because, you know, you're going to have a little bit of fun for a year and then the fall is going to be heartbreaking. So mm -hmm. you need to be passionate. You need to know about what is fashion, especially today that is so multi-leveled and so multicultural, you need to know history of fashion, you need to understand what is photography and why photography really generates so much interest and fascinations with people. You need to understand brand identity, you need to be able to build a brand and not build a hype around the brand and truly, truly be curious all the time. You need to be curious all the time. I think the school gives you a first push and an introduction to what fashion industry is all about but eventually you need to be curious by yourself to figure out what is unique about you and your services so you can you know, get along in the business faster and more successfully compared to your uh, peers. Because you need to have this extra little something that is a, an extension of your personality. I, I believe, I don't think that I'm the most talented person on the planet, but I'm very, very curious. And the reason that I was able to do all these different careers, parallel careers in my life, I did because I was curious. I was always looking forward to do things. I'm still curious. Sometimes it's a little bit of a problem for me because I, I cannot realize that I, I, I turned 46. I still have the enthusiasm and the curiosity of a 20 year old. And I think this has really allowed me to explore a lot of different options within this very fascinating profession, which is working in fashion. Okay. Well, 